In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can color match your 3D to your video. A bunch of flaws I see when people are doing 3D is it looks really out of place and doesn't actually match the color grading or the aesthetic of the actual video. It just looks like an overlay even though it's 3D. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering everything I know to make your 3D really look like it's in the scene. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jacob and I'm uploading every single day for the entire month of December. So make sure you guys hit subscribe to keep updated on tutorials. We're also offering a buy one, get one free across our entire website on all of our editing packs and plugins specifically made for music video editors like you. So I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check that out, but let's hop right into the video. So we have our little Dirk music video here, and we're gonna be using this as a base. So let's quickly apply our 3D. I'm gonna go over to new and create a new solid here and just hit okay. We're gonna drag and drop element on that. I have a whole other tutorial on this that I uploaded this month covering how to add 3D objects into your scene. So I'm just gonna speed run it right now, but I highly recommend you guys go ahead and watch that tutorial. So. Opening this up, I'm just going to normalize this, hit OK, and then open up group one. I highly recommend you guys watch that tutorial. So we're just going to go ahead and rotate this so we can see the money. Boom. All right. And let's move it around so it actually is within our scene. So boom, boom. And then we could just have it rotating. Also made a whole other tutorial on camera tracking. So I'm not going to camera track this. Call me lazy, but there's a tutorial on that on my channel. Really making you guys go ahead and watch all of those daily uploads because I kind of went in with the daily uploads. Anyways, let's make this match our scene because right now it does not match our scene. So first things first, we want to open up our boy Lumetri Color. So drag and drop that on your solid that has an element and drag it above everything. So we're gonna open up our basic correction here. And this video is very orange and this bill is very blue. So let's go ahead and turn the temperature to orange and boom, you guys can see that looks a lot better. We have before and then after. It's really blending with the scene now. So let's do a couple other things as well. I don't think this needs that much contrast. I think it looks a little corny. We go ahead, you guys can see it looked like this before. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And let's also go ahead and turn down the blacks here to the left. And then I think if we turn down the exposure as well, we get that looking a lot more like a build that would actually be in the scene. Now, let's go ahead and add our motion blur. I like using RSMB, but I also have a plugin on the way called Motion Blur that we will be using for this. This will be out soon. You guys can also check out RSMB as well. Just drag and drop that on your clip and you guys can see it instantly adds motion blur to it and it really makes it blend in with the scene a whole lot better. So especially when the bill is moving like this, you can see without it and then with it, Really, it makes those edges warp like a real bill would. Now, let's go ahead and turn off what we've done so far. You guys can see the before versus the after. Already incredible. Let's maybe turn this intensity up a little bit just so we get some more realistic blur. And then another thing as well is Gaussian blur. You can use camera lens blur, but like, let me just show you guys. Like, camera lens blur, unless they updated it, I think it's a little too OD. Whereas like, let's compare it to Gaussian blur because maybe I'm wrong. I haven't used this in a while. Gaussian blur, okay. This is Gaussian blur at 5% versus camera lens blur at 5%. Yeah, this is 2OD, bro. Way with 2OD. Let's use Gaussian blur here. And let's go ahead and turn this up here. Like that. So we have the blur there. And let me put you guys onto some sauce here. If we press U on our keyboard, there we go. Gaussian blur right here. Uh, we have our, we just said keyframe for it. So let's set a keyframe at the beginning for Gaussian blur for the blurriness. And let's also add Gaussian blur onto our actual video itself, which is this one here. Drag and drop that on then press U on our keyboard. I think we have to add a keyframe first. Sweet, press U again. All right, now we have our two Gaussian blurs, right? Right now, the bill is the one that's out of focus. Go ahead and turn that up a little bit more. And then he's in focus. So let's flip flop this. Let's turn it to zero on the bill and let's actually put little Dirk out of focus at the beginning. So the bill, is in focus, as you guys can see here. But if we go ahead and bring this over, we can then set another keyframe, bringing little Dirk in focus, and then we could set a keyframe. There we go, for the Gaussian blur, putting the bill out of focus. So boom, bill, boom. Isn't the greatest animation or motion tracking on the bill, but you guys can see the bill is in focus and then goes out of focus and little dirt goes in focus, right? Let's just say that's a cool tip that you guys can do. Maybe it doesn't look great on this because we're just trying to blend it to the scene, but I think this is a great start right here. So let's just go ahead and compare the before and after with the motion blur. So before and then after, and then I deleted the Gaussian blur, but whatever. 
Anyways, I actually forgot one crazy crucial step. Let me put you guys onto that. So go to custom layers, open up texture maps, and under layer one, hit none, and then hit your music video here. So we got Lil Durk, aha. Uh -huh. Click that, and then go back into your scene setup here, and then you wanna open up your texture, your material. Under the environment for it, you wanna go ahead and click this little drop down, and then click the music video, boom. It changed. Hit okay, hit okay again, and it will change to match the lighting of the video. It doesn't affect it that much, but it's just the right amount where it helps a little bit. Now, inside of render settings here as well, you can also turn on the shadows and make them like ray traced if you really wanna go crazy or like motion blur. I don't really love the motion blur in here, but I like using RSMB. And then there's a bunch of other stuff as well. There's like lighting if you wanna, like we're using like the comp from the thing that we just did. But if you wanna turn that off and then use like a warm light, you can see it like ruins our look, but you can start with that or mess around with that. Anyways, enough yapping. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe for more tutorials for the rest of the month and check out our editing packs and plugins. Why not level up your visuals before the end of the year? Buy one, get one free is on now and it's ending pretty soon. So I'll see you guys over on my website. Peace.